Hey everybody, it's Joy. Welcome back to episode 33 of Bearstead. I think so. <laughs> um, I really want to reach our next milestone so we can buy another square. And so I'm eyeing this section of land and maybe building some sort of whole new neighborhood around the lake. But I think the important thing to do first is to see if we can squeeze a little interchange right here to allow for a little bit more connectivity. Um, Overcharge Egg did an amazing video on some really simple vanilla interchanges. So if you want to watch how this is done, um, go check them out here. But I think I'm going to use a little bit of YouTube magic because we have a lot that I want to get to today. So I, I'm going to build this now, but I think I might um, just make this magically appear for you guys. Okay. Okay, well, I think this worked out really well. It's a bit of a tight fit over here and potentially when I unlock this other square, if I ever do, I can uh, make this a little bit more symmetrical. But with the space that we had, I actually think this works really well. Okay, now I want to connect a major road throughout this area. So I think I'm just gonna bring a nice um, large four lane road from here all the way over to here. So let me get that put in. Okay. Oh, I like this much better. Yeah, that has some fun character to it. I like a good windy road. Okay, now I want to make sure we use our topography and I want to get a nice smaller road kind of along the lake front here. And then we can build out our grid for our new neighborhood.
Okay. I'm actually really happy with how this came out. It's funky and very different, which I like. I didn't mind the terraforming I had to do. And now we have this nice pad that we can kind of create a little town square vibe, maybe a waterfront park. I think that would be a really cute. Yeah, I wonder if we can mirror this along the back here. Let's let's get a guideline in here. Those always help me. I'm not the best at this stuff. delete this middle piece and make sure this is all the right direction yeah okay okay yeah I think the oppression office would look really nice here. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, let's get this put in a little bit better. Very nice. That gives us a nice centerpiece to this new neighborhood over here. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Okay, let's get a district painted first. Okay, and I want to do a, a European area over here. High density. I think that's going to look really nice. So I'm just going to get a little bit of zoning here in the corner so we can get the power to come over. Okay, and I know I want commercial here. This will kind of be like our little town square. I wonder, will the lower density come in European or not? Guess we're gonna have to wait and find out. I'm not certain. Okay, um, I definitely, this little hill right here, I want to put a walking path on each side. I think it'll be a really um, good opportunity for decoration. I like this a lot. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, and before we do more zoning, I want to think about some services. I want to grab a little church that doubles as an elementary school, and I want to fit this in somewhere.
Uh, maybe right here would be good. In between the commercial and the residential. Okay. And then... Let's grab the more affordable... Oh yeah, this church and cemetery would be really cute. Oh, if we did like a little... This is a, up on the hill. Give me some cute detail opportunities with that. We'll put that over there for now. Okay, and then this small little clinic. I love this little one. Let's... I think this will also be a commercial area up above. Oh yeah, let's just go with the little rural fire station. Let's pop that right next to the clinic. And... A little police station. Perfect. Um, post office. Hmm. Well, maybe over here. I definitely want it in a corner. Let's go right there. That's perfect. Okay. Um, before I do any more zoning, I'm thinking a little alley road would be good. Just to create a little bit more connectivity back here. Okay, I think I always like to take advantage of this little path that comes off the church. So cute. Put that in. Very cute. Good detail opportunities later on. Okay, let's finish zoning here. Okay, and let's keep pulling through our bike road. This in, and then we'll use Move It to get this cleaned up. And I think then we'll update some of these roads in our new little neighborhood here to bike roads as well. Okay, so I want 
to think a lot about pedestrian connectivity and so I think a little pedestrian bridge right here would be perfect so let me get that put in and I definitely think we'll use um, one of the new pedestrian bridges from the content creator pack I really like those Okay, and then I think, yeah, time traffic light is needed here. And then, yeah, because we have the pedestrian bridge, we can, although with the light does make pedestrian traffic easier, but we'll just do that for now. Okay. Hmm. This is not the look I wanted to go for, for our town center here. I think I have to use the high density commercial assets in order to get the look that I want. Let's get this filled in. Let that start coming in. All right. Clean up the random, random zoning. Perfect. Okay, let's get this town center area looking correct because this is not what I wanted. Yes, that's exactly what I want. High density European commercial. Yeah, this is really the look I want to go for this area. This will look really nice once we get it all filled in with trees too. Okay, I think I want to continue the bike path along this road. And that'll be helpful because then it's going to force zoning and then we can have I actually really like these European high density one um, tile like apartment buildings. I think they're really cute, especially in a pattern like this. So that way I can get them facing inward to each other. I think that actually look really nice. So let me use move it and finish out this connecting this um, bike path and use move it to make it oh, look nice. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm thinking about pedestrian connectivity. We have this metro right here. I think 
you should have a little walking path. I think that makes a lot of sense. And we can do a little tunnel underneath the road here. I think that'll um, match up a little bit better. So let me see if I can fit this in. Oh, I'm excited to see if this gets used. I assume it will, because not only is this over to the metro, but we've got the whole shopping complex we built over there. So yeah, I think we should probably see some utilization on this, hopefully. <laughs> um, okay, let's get a fence in along the road here kind of match the other side a little bit. Okay, this area is really starting to come together. I am liking this look. It's going to look even better when we've got a bunch of trees in here and detail it up. Okay, I think I want to focus on our little church cemetery and see if I can make this look cute. Maybe adding in some other park assets and things. Let me see what I can do and see if we can do our first little detailing landscaping today. Okay, I actually like this little cemetery on the hill, community garden, playground. Yeah, I actually really like that. Okay, cute. Okay, behind our little town center here with the view of the lake, I definitely want to park all behind that, but I think we can use maybe a park and a playground on either end. And maybe do like a little path network to connect them. I think that could be really cute. Yeah, so there's the small playground. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that would be perfect. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun to decorate. Okay. 
I really do want to get into detailing, but I think first I need to keep zoning. I kind of want to get this area all the way filled out before I get to detailing. So let's get the rest of the zoning put in yeah, like that. Lots of great detail opportunity for this area. I'm very excited. So in all little spots, it's a really dense area. It's kind of the look I'm going for. Again, I think it'll look really nice once we can get in here and just fill in lots of trees. And make it look really lush. In our little European high density neighborhood. It's looking pretty cute. I wonder if people are using this path. Let's go peek. Oh yeah. That's so great. That's very exciting. Can we make this look a little bit nicer? Here we go. Oh, come on. Here we go. There we go. I apologize if you can hear my dog. <laughs> I don't know if she always wants to eat or when I'm playing. Okay. All right, let's move on. Okay, even though this area is small, it is high density. And so, and I also think we'll expand to the other side of this, like collector road as well. Maybe not today, but at some point. So I want to build a little area back here where we can put a, a bus terminal and maybe some garbage collection. Maybe a utility or two as well. This is a perfect little area for it. And I think it'd be nice to have a little bus line over here. So, yeah, let's put that right there. And we're going to use my favorite little garbage recycling center asset. Pop that there. Um, probably could use some more water treatment. So might as well put that in here as well. Perfect. Oh, and this cute little water pumping station. Put this in somewhere. This thing is also really cute. Okay, let's want to get a bus route through here first. So, okay, we'll see how that works. Oh, I need to get everyone hooked in here. Here we go. There we go. Okay. All right. All right, let's get some zoning in this area.
Okay, let's think about a little traffic management along here and get our giveaways put in. Okay, now that I've destroyed these walking paths for like the tenth time, let's put them back in here. I should have realized it was the buster that it was not letting the road upgrade, but I did not. And I think I messed up all my zoning too, but we will get this fixed. Okay, I am so ready to get into some landscaping, some detailing. It's always my favorite part. So let's make a little waterfront park. I'm really excited about this. I think we'll bring some nice curvy paths through this area and then kind of decorate around our town square. I am very excited about this. Okay, I think this is a great little template to work from. We've definitely got a starting place and everyone is sick. Oh, silly, silly, silly. Uh, yeah, we put this little water, I put this little water formation over here right next to, yep. Okay, let's fix this. Looks like we do have a bit of traffic building up here. So I know I want to build up here eventually. So I think I'm gonna make another little connection and maybe this will help with some of the traffic potentially. to curve nicely. Uh, I think that'll work. Okay, let's make sure we get some giveaways. There. Okay. 
and there. Oops. Okay. I did have the time traffic light there and I took it off because it seemed to be creating more crap traffic. Now I wonder if I should put it back. Hmm. Maybe we'll just give this some time. Okay, I think traffic's getting better, but I think I'm going to make one more really valuable connection right here. So let's get that put in. After all, there's nothing wrong with more connectivity. Perfect, and now we've even made a bike connection to the other side of the city, a more direct bike route, so that's great. Let's plop in a few offices here. Perfect. Okay. I think that will probably help. Let's get back to detailing. Let's make this park look pretty. Right. Yeah, I like this a lot. Very cute. I definitely think we can use some fencing around the whole park. Maybe some farm fence or nature reserve fence. Oh yeah, this is gonna be cute. Okay, let's get this put in.
Okay, a few more trees. Yeah, that's really cute. I like that a lot. Very cute. Oh, it looks like traffic is cleared up too. Excellent. Okay, that makes me happy. All right, now I want to decorate this area behind our little commercial shops here. I think we could do something really cute back here. Okay. Oh, I really like this. It's a very lush, kind of tucked away little park. Right in the center. Let's see how our. We'll need to name these once we name this area. Well, that one's getting a lot of use. Let's add four buses onto that one. How's the other one doing? Mm, how much at all? Let's just delete this one. Let's just have the one line through town. I think that makes sense. Okay, and since we're just gonna have the one bus line, let's look at our stops and maybe add a few more. I definitely think it would be cool now to have the bus come right through this center area now that we have our little park here. We can actually have the bus mirror itself there. Yeah, that's pretty cute. And where else? Let's add a stop here. Now that we have the park path there. And let's add a stop on this side of the park as well. Okay. I think that will work. Yeah. And our traffic is cleared up really nicely. Very, very happy about that. Okay. I think I am ready to really blanket our whole entire new neighborhood with trees. So, I know I'll definitely three speed that for you guys. So, let's just make this whole new neighborhood look really lush.
Okay, now we are getting somewhere. I'm really excited to detail this. Let's add a little path through here. Cute, okay. Let's sneak a gazebo. Oh, we can. Can we sneak anything else? Probably not. That's okay. All right, let's do some bushes and some pretty trees. Oh, this turned out really cute. I like this a lot. Yeah. So cute. Perfect. Okay. We are looking nice and lush. Still have this whole area over here. That building. I don't like that one. Everything else over here looks okay. Really do want to try to finish out this neighborhood today. We are on the lake. I think this might be a perfect little area to maybe have like a little restaurant pier or something. Let's see if we can sneak a little road down here. Okay, hey, I think that looks all right, actually. Okay, I like this little restaurant here. Let's put that in. Do we have a little marina? We can boat around the lake, maybe. Fishing pier. one of these oh I'm perfect we're close enough to the park so it's picking that up okay let's do a little move it here line this up a little bit better oh, this is super cute okay Get this hooked up. We get those little cute little outdoor market looking green cities things. This could be a really cute little area through here, so we'll just have to see how this develops. Overgrowth here. Mm, I'm already seeing things I don't like with those buildings. They're coming in a little funky. Let's get some trees around here. Okay, cute. Um, looks like I didn't move my district up enough because we're getting little gas stations and funky ones. <laughs> okay, I think we can have zoning down here, but I don't think we can have zoning up here. So let's fix that.
Okay, while this is filling in, let's continue on with adding trees. A nice line up here, maybe pop a few around this area. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, I think we'll take out this one. I kind of like the little outdoor market vibe going down here. So we'll, we'll see what comes in there. I am really happy with how this whole area turned out. Looks really nice now with all the trees put in. I do think we can go ahead and Add in some nice waterfront high density on this side. Okay guys, well I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. I'm really happy with how this whole neighborhood turned out. I like our little unique road network and just how the trees made everything really come together. I like all the European style buildings. Let's check on this little pathway. Oh yeah, look at that utilization. This is still an area that we need to detail around there. But I'm really happy with how this looks and how it came together. We'll definitely need another elementary school on this side. But yeah, I think next time we'll build over here and just maybe extend the same kind of vibe out that way. But we didn't get to where we wanted to get today, but we will, we will. Okay guys, I hope you have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.